Hi everybody. <laughs> this is going to be a reenactment day. You come down here and lay in your little bed. And you're good. Can you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't. She's always causing trouble. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is a reenactment day. So uh, kind of like uh, a crime scene being reenacted. <laughs> anyway. Um, Let's see, where do I start? Oh, a couple of days ago, I went out to the greenhouse and uh, I had a little accident and I slipped in the pond and took the skin off my uh, shin and, oh, my knee's a little funny, but, you know, I think everything else is fine. So, <laughs> some people pay good money to swim with a fish, <laughs> but... It's a little cold this time of the year, but anyway, so the other day I was, after this had happened, I was sitting here at my piano and, and um, when I retired, one story is going to lead to another today, when I retired I wanted to learn how to play piano and I've never, never been for getting lessons and all that, so I just dug in and I got these easy play books. And I'm doing pretty good. I can do the chords and the notes. But anyway, I have fun and I usually do it around supper time because I can keep my eye on the kitchen and be here doing this. So I was sitting here trying to be good. <laughs> Sometimes hard for me. And uh, anyway, Jack came up and he's, uh, he goes, close your eyes. So I'm like, uh oh, so so I'm sitting just like this, and he's right there, and so he says, "Hi, close your eyes." So I did, and he says, "Hold out your hands." I put out one hand. No, he says both hands, and uh, so I did, and then he said, "Open your eyes, but you might not like it." I had no idea what he was doing, and you're not going to believe this. This is a story and a half. Look at this beautiful orchid pot. I mean, look at this. <laughs> now, this, uh, the roots will never stick to it. I think he said it's, um, it's aluminum coated with something. Wait till I tell you where it came from. Now, if you want an orchid pot for somebody that's a real computer person or computer geek, or if you know a computer geek, uh, or somewhere where they repair computers, you could go and ask for these things. They're inside a computer. And he, I knew nothing about this. He was down there, and uh, I don't know, he must have just decided it would make a good orchid pot. Very, very nice orchid pot. The roots won't stick. <laughs> I think they like to stick, but I have ones where they're quite happy growing them once. Like the bought uh, orchid pots that are glazed, they don't stick to those ones. So anyway, look at this beautiful pot. Now I'm going to tell you, <laughs> tell you how you can get one of these. Now, um, there are a whole bunch of little round discs. And you can see he's... Um, Oh, what do they call them? Oh, rivet. He's riveted them together. The holes were in them. They were exactly like they are, but he joined them together. And uh, here is one. It's from a... Oh, what did I do with my notes? They're over there. Hold on. I'm guilty. I'm like Mr. Dillon. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, anyway, they're out of a hard drive. That's what they are. I am not a computer geek. I have a terrible time with computers. But anyway, he, um, he used to do satellite dishes and stuff. So he can take a computer apart and put it back together. And often when we're at the thrift store, he'll pick up old computer boxes. And he takes the... the these things out of them, and he saves things out of them because he can make a computer out of them. And he takes some magnets out of these things that I'm going to show you too. And he had one of those 
those square, we have those uh, square towel racks. They're stainless steel and they're kind of a square piece of tube. And he stuck a bunch of magnets in it and it's over my stove and I hang all my knives on it. So, <laughs> anyway, you never know what he's going to do. He's very, very, very gifted that way. So, um, I'll show you what they look like. Now, they, he gave me a, they look like this. And they're inside your computer, so if you have an old computer, and uh, I'm going to show you inside, you can see where it sat. It sat right in that little circle, and there's magnets usually in there, so he goes in and he takes these things out. And there's little screws that hold them together, and he said, if you can't get it off and you got those four little screws off, look under the paper, because there's usually another one there, and they hide it. So there's one, and here's one that's all together. So this is inside old computers. And I'll show you one. And there's one inside. Some of them, this one has two in it. Some only have one. So no guarantee, but you know if you can um, find somebody to... <laughs> that knows computers that maybe collects these things or if you want to try a very very fancy pot there you go as you can see <laughs> anyway it was worth a video just for this so I thought I'd share that with you um, I just got my bread in the oven baking and I gotta go out and water that lemon and orange tree again but I don't want to fall in today. <laughs> so it was just a, a quick video and I had to show that now, you know, um, gee, I don't have an orchid that will fit in that pot right now. <laughs> you know what that means. Oh boy, I think there's another orchid going to show up soon. So had to show you that. Hope you're having a good day and uh, uh, I am. It's almost espresso and coffee time. Oh, yes. Um, sometimes, if I may seem like I've had a drink or two, I haven't. <laughs> some, some people think maybe I've been sipping sherry's or something. You know, when I was um, uh, young and we used to go to parties a lot, People used to say, oh, well, how come you're not drinking? And I said, because I'm already like I'm drinking. And I grew up with an alcoholic father, so I've never really been into drinking. I like a glass of wine with dinner or something. And, and once in a while on a hot day, I like a beer, but I, I stop at one. I'm not a second glasser because I learned the hard way. It's not a pleasant thing. And uh, so... Um, the chocolate and the coffee could have an effect, <laughs> but uh, I think I'm just high on life. I, I always have enjoyed the, the small things in life, and uh, there's a lot of small things to enjoy in this world that don't cost money. And, uh, you know, even if you're having a really bad time and you're going through a rough spell, you know, um, when you think things are real rough, don't go to drinking or drugs. It isn't worth it. And uh, just get high on life. <laughs> just, just delve into things that make you happiest. Self-love. I think Van Morrison has a song like that. Thank God for self-love. Okay, that's the quote for today. See you next time.